How's it going everyone? It's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install these Titan Chain Alloy Snow Tire Chains on our 2022 GMC Sierra 1500. These are a diamond pattern chain which gets you a little bit more coverage on the actual tire itself. It's going to help you with not only getting a smoother ride but it's going to give you more traction on turns compared to say a ladder pattern style which just goes straight across and is better for starting and stopping. The links themselves are square, so they'll help get you a little bit more bite. They're not going to be as low profile as some of the roller styles or the cable style might be, but they will get you more traction, and they're made of a manganese nickel alloy, which is going to be better for corrosion and weather resistance. They're going to be able to last you a little bit longer than, say, a low carbon steel might. I just want to point out that these chains in the middle, as you can see, are obviously a different color. They're also powder coated to protect your fingers. If you're putting these chains on in the cold, they tend to get stuck or, you know, it gets a little bit colder on these metal chains. So it's nice that they have that to protect your hands while you're doing it as well. The chains also have this included assisted tensioning cable here with a couple of different options for your tire width, depending on, you know, tread or how inflated you have your tire. So it's nice that it has that variability built in as well. Overall, these chains are going to be a solid, pretty good value chain for their price point. I think out of the Titan chains that we've tested today, these are probably my favorite. But the installation can be a little bit tricky if you don't give yourself enough time to spread everything out, make sure it all lines up. But you can check out how we did that right now. To install the chains, first thing we want to do is lay everything out as flat as we can get it to make sure that there's nothing tangled or stuck together. Additionally, as you can see, there is this space in the middle. That's where the tire is going to go once we actually drape the chains around. Also, if you look at these hoops at the back of each set of chains, there is a flat side and then there's a side with hooks on it. You want to make sure that once we get this connection, that this flat side is going to be the side that's making contact with the tire. And we can start by draping the chains around the back of the tire. I like to use this left side to go around because this right side has this longer cable and that tends to get stuck. So we'll pull it through, trying to get it as evenly spaced as possible because that'll just help us make this first connection up top. We'll grab each side, come around and fit this right through there and it'll catch. After we make that connection in the back, just try to space things out as evenly as you can get it until you get to the point where you can connect this green hook here with this open yellow link on the other side. Might have to maneuver things around a little bit. But once you get enough slack, you should be able to slide that link onto the hook. Once we have that connection up top, we can make our connection at the bottom by first pulling this link through this catch and we'll pull it back towards the other way. There are two hoops here to get additional tension. So as you can see, if we were to do it right now, it'd be pretty loose. So we'll try to go for one. And if that's also loose, we'll go for the next one. But it looks like we'll be able to get plenty of tension out of just this one. Once we've connected the tensioner to the top, that's pretty much it for the install. Go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, the passenger side as well. Roll forward or backwards a couple times just to make sure that everything stays in place. You're ready to go. Overall, for the price point that these are at, I think they're a really solid value option. I like the diamond pattern. The powder coating is a nice touch and the assisted tensioning is also a great feature. So overall, I think they're a really solid chain. I think they're a really nice fit on our 2022 GMC Sierra 1500.